Okay, how's everybody doing out there? Just uh, finishing up with some editing from the Rockstar Mayhem Tour, July 13th out at White River Amphitheater. Uh, that's in Auburn, Washington. I'm gonna make some of these photos available for all of you folks out there. And just to let you know that you're about to watch a really good interview that our interviewer, Lisa Olson, did. She had a great opportunity to talk with uh, John Five. My dog right here is always wanting to be in the camera. Anyhow, she had a great time interviewing John Five of uh, Rob Zombie. And in fact, if you haven't had a chance to catch this tour yet, be sure you do when it comes around in your town. Rob Zombie puts on a killer show. It's probably one of the biggest shows he's ever done in his life. Uh, we don't know how much longer he's going to be out there touring. You know, I think he says that he's probably going to make this the last one because he wants to get into doing more films. Also, Lisa had an opportunity to sit down and have a really good talk with Monkey from porn. Uh, it's a really good interview so check that out. Like I said we're gonna have some pictures, some photos available for you guys to take a look at here pretty soon. Uh, it'll be from the Rockstar Mayhem tour and of course everything else that's been shot in the past. Uh, this is Chuck Tuck. We'll see you next time. Thanks a lot. Hi, I'm Lisa and you are never gonna guess who I get to sit next to. This is John Five from Rob Zombie. How's it going? Good, how are you? I'm doing great, a little nervous, but I think we'll get through this because I'm a big fan and uh, I got some questions for you. Cool with that? Yep. Okay. Well, first of all, um, oh, almost happy birthday. Yes, that is true. <laughs> that is correct. Uh, July 31st. So if anybody wants to send gifts, just uh, send them. <laughs> Do you know where you're going to be? I'm going to be in Indianapolis, I believe. Yes. Noblesville. So send right. your gifts to Noblesville. That's right. Send them to the uh, to the arena and address them to me and thank you very much. Okay. What do you want for your birthday? Anything. <laughs> I love presents. Okay, great. Well, first of all, I just wanted to say that, you know, you're such a prolific guitar player. You've just are you've played it seems like with everybody it's somebody in the business. How did all that come to be? How did you manage to do all that? You know, I, what I wanted to do is I wanted to be a session musician. I never even dreamt of doing what I'm doing now. And I just, I studied all different types of music when I was growing up because that's what I wanted to do was just be, you know, play on other people's records and things like that. And um, so I started studying really at a really young age because I heard that a lot of session people have to know every style of music. So that's what I did, and I really enjoy it, you know. So I get to uh, play on a lot of records still today. Um, I just did Ricky Martin's album about two weeks ago, and you know, it's you know, it's fun stuff like that. You know, I like it. Yeah. Um, can you even name everybody that you've worked with? Uh, no, I can't. It's a lot of people. I can't either. It is a lot. Look and it. I'm a lot. very, very happy, and I'm very proud, I'm and um, yeah. you know, and I appreciate it so much. Yeah. And are you a grad from MIT I'm, or MIT? No, I am not. But I go, I go to MI and I do sessions and clinics. But unfortunately, I never had the chance to go to MI. Um, I started working right away, but I never had a chance. But I always wanted to go to MI. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I thought that's where you started, and then you became a session musician. You just went straight into. Yeah, music. I moved out oh. from uh, from Michigan. And then I went right into it. Yeah, awesome. I started working. What a lucky guy. Yeah, I know, huh? Is there somebody that uh, you haven't worked with that you'd really like to work with? Uh, I would say like uh, a Beatle, uh, you know, Paul McCartney or Ringo or uh, Beatle. yeah, uh, Prince, uh, awesome. anybody from the Who or the Stones or anything like that. You know, I love it. Excellent, excellent. So I know um, you've done some instructional videos. You have like about five or six or something like that? I, yeah, I have. To, I love teaching, you know, and that's what's very important to me. I love to uh, hopefully inspire some, some young players out there to, to do what they want to do. And so hopefully I'm inspiring some people. Cool. I heard you once say that you like to learn and learn and keep on learning. Are you still doing that with guitar? Or you oh, yeah. Talk? Really? Yeah, I do it every day just about, uh, you know, try to learn something new every day. I was doing that before I got here, yeah. Awesome. And you said that you are going to do another instructional video? Or? I think so, yeah. I, I, because they do really well, and it's, it helps, um, you know, up-and-coming guitarists. It's, yeah. it's very good. And I, I'll do things on YouTube, and I think that helps, too, because that's free. And, um, right. You know, it's, it's great, because that's what I use. I just go on YouTube, and I'll look for a lesson, and it's great. And then you can find yourself yeah. giving you a lesson. Hey, Rob Zombie! Hey there. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. 
Okay, now I'm getting flattered here. <laughs> okay, keep going. Um, but anyway, um, so I also know that you have a, um, a solo project that you kind of shelf because you're so busy. Uh, are we going to see that? get picked up in the near future? No, I um, actually, I joined, I had a band called Loser, and uh, I, Rob asked me to go on the road, and the record company with Loser said, oh, well, you have to pick between Loser or Rob Zombie, and I picked uh, Rob Zombie, and best decision of my life, you know, I'd, Excellent. I'd, I'd, uh, you know, I've never looked back, and I'm so, so happy to be here every day. Absolutely. And you, you had a, a record already finished, though, right? Did you? Uh, yes, it? yes, we had a record but finished. But it never was released. No, it never was released. Maybe I'll release it just for people to hear yeah. it and things like that. Right on. Cool. Cool. Well, okay, so um, I know... I, I know you picked up John Five and Marilyn Manson. Was that a given name, and, and what, how'd that happen? It was. Actually, I met Manson at lunch. He wanted to have a meeting with me, him and his uh, manager, and he gave me the name at lunch So and asked me to be in the band, and that was it. But what's the significance? Well, it's I was a fifth member in Marilyn Manson, and he was really into numbers at the time, oh. and uh, also it's a biblical meaning. Mm -hmm. as well so yeah it's really cool that yeah okay right on. that's cool thank you and um i recently caught uh you on the gruesome twosome tour with alice cooper that's right and it was in oh my gosh See? he remembers who i am <laughs> <laughs> so yeah and i um that was just such an awesome show and i was just wondering are we looking at the same show or are you going to change it up a bit um, no, the show is different, and it's going to blow minds. It's the biggest Rob Zombie show ever. It's amazing. I don't it's, know how it could get any Oh, it's, it's incredible. Yeah. It's totally crazy. Cool. Yeah. Awesome. I'm looking forward to it. And then also I just wanted to um, ask, uh, a couple days ago there was rumor that there was uh, an uproar about maybe a little uh Washtika or something on stage? Did you hear anything about that? And can you well, explain well, I think we happened? do a we do a I, I don't know we do a song called Werewolf Women of the SS, and it's kind of like werewolf women from the SS. So I think that was it. But okay. you know, it's nothing so, nothing right. weird or anything like that. No, my kids are uh, you know Jewish, and uh, you know okay. no nothing nothing weird like that. Okay, cool. So, so uh, then I'll just say it. For the record, get over it. It was just, a, it's, it's oh, nothing yeah, no, no, important. No, okay, it's not. got it. Okay, cool. Well, it's um, really super cool to be able to talk to you. Well, thank and you very I much. I so much appreciate it. That was a great interview. You were, you were great. Chuck. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are very soft-spoken. We are. Oh, oh, well, I was yelling. Right. <laughs> I had my earplugs and I was yelling before. I'm sorry.